Hello everyone, my name is Nguyen and I'm a trainer at Forbiso Academy. Welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have shared and discussed with you about two workflow to set up render animation in Vantage. This is render via Lightning and is bought uh, via Sync. If you haven't had a chance to see these two videos, I have included both of them in the video description below. In the video today, I will have a comparison between two workflows and we will do some various steps to determine that whether it's possible to create animation in V-Ray and then export to VR-Sync and continue working in Vantage or vice versa. To start, let's summarize the strengths and weaknesses of these two workflows. The first one is FlyLink workflow. The strength of the first workflow is it provides less stability when setting up animation for objects, lighting, and material similar to the Rosette when rendering with V-Ray or Corona. Additionally, it allows us to leverage Vantage render capabilities. Furthermore, with this workflow, you can easily facilitate updates to materials, lighting, and objects during the process. However, it also has some weaknesses. The first one is some features available only through exporting via Sync will cannot be utilized. For example, lighting state or object state. Besides, sync lighting serves as the rendering interface. Some inconvenience may arise. For example, any parameter adjustment made through gliding will not be saved into V-Ray file. Instead, you must be directly adjusted using the V-Ray camera. Similarly, if a new camera is created in gliding, it won't be resent in the V-Ray file. To save the newly created camera, you would need to click on the Import Change from Vantage icon. Furthermore, certain adjustments, such as those related to post production, would require a separate Vantage file to be saved. Upon reopening the file, this Vantage file must be loaded. With the second workflow, it's both via sync. This also has some pros and cons. With this workflow, it provides a similar method to concentrating start within the Vantage file, leading to only one file being saved. Moreover, with this, you will have the ability to use the scene state feature for both still image and animation, making it easier to manage the animation rendering process. Nevertheless, there are some disadvantages with this workflow. First of all, challenges arise when wanting to add more objects or establish new material. To achieve this, you will need to rely in V-Ray, then export to VR-Sync and re-importing it back into Vantage file. Secondly, although from Chaos Vantage 2.0, you can rely directly live in Vantage, but there are still many limitations. And finally, animation can only be set for camera and geolocation in Vantage, lacking the capability to configure animation for objects, lines, material directly in Vantage. So after we understand really about the difference between these two workflows, let's explore the possibility to combine them. Test one. What happens if you configure animation in V-Ray and then export it into Vantage? After configuring animation in the V-Ray file to transfer your animation setting to Vantage, click the Export Animation option when exporting to VR-Sync. Subsequently, upon opening Chaos Vantage, the animation will be present within the animation scene. However, the limitation is only camera and object animation will be exported, while lighting animation will be reset. Test 2. What about the reverse? Importing the camera and animation setting you established in Vantage into the V-Ray file. 
If you intend to import animations created in Vantage back into the V-Ray file, simply click on the Import Change from Vantage icon on the Vantage toolbar. This action will allow animation camera created in Vantage to be imported into the V-Ray file. And you should to be noted that the animation camera in V-Ray will be linked into a single cam following a shared path rather than is it is a separate camera as is the case with V-Ray setup? So after comparison and experience, currently if I do animation with Fantis, I usually choose the workload one, a render via lighting, because with me, I see that I will be able to do more uh, animation feature with this workflow. And how about you? What do you think? Uh, let me know uh, in the comment below. If you like this video, Please like and subscribe to do not miss our interesting video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.